This last week I've received the same question four times, and I think it's time to address this. Here I have a setup with a Panasonic GH5 on top of a Mixpre. This is the 10T, but should be the same with the 3 or the 6. And then I have an Atomos recorder. The way I have this, the output signal routed from the GH5 is I have an HDMI 2.0 cable coming out of the GH5 into the input on the Atomos Sumo, and then the output HDMI port from the Sumo is coming out here, so full-size HDMI to micro HDMI into the Mix Pre. The question I get are actually two questions. Number one, how do I pass through the time code from the camera to the Atomos and also to the Mix Pre? And then the second one is how do I get the HDMI controls to work so that when I press record on the camera, it starts the Sumo recording and starts the Mix Pre recording. I was not able to successfully get that to work. However, what I did test here, so for example, if I've got, um, well, first of all, in terms of settings on the GH5, we went into the settings down here, the HDMI rec output. Um, this is what I have set up. The info display is off. The down convert is auto. HDMI recording control is on. Um, I don't know that this one particularly matters, and well, it probably does, but for the recording to the Atomos, but the 4K 60p bit mode is 422.10 bit. Going to time code, I have the time code, HDMI time code output set to on. Okay, so what we can see here is this says 108.29, same here on the Shogun. So it's passing it through to the Shogun. The Mix Pre is not getting it. You can see here for time, if I go into the time code menu, I have the time code mode set to HDMI time code in. It is just showing 000 right now. So uh, a call to Atomos, they said that they're just passing through time codes, so there shouldn't be an issue, but for whatever reason, the MixPre doesn't pick it up in that scenario. However, if we, um, let's take the Atomos out of the equation for a minute here. So what I'm going to do instead is pull that out, and I'm gonna take this cable. This is now the cable connected to the H. HDMI output on the GH5 to the HDMI input on the Mix Pre. You will note now, this is actually now picking up the time code from here. Uh, so, for whatever reason, the time code signal gets lost if you're trying to send it to the Atomos and then onto the Mix Pre. Do the time code um, trigger controls work? That is to say, when I press record here, it starts the recording here. That's great. So. That all works directly from the GH5 into the Mix Pre. Stop that recording there. Let's go ahead and change the settings or the cable configuration back. So again, now what I've got is out of the GH5 into the Sumo and out of the Sumo into the Mix Pre. Let's see what we do when we press record here. It starts this recording, but it does not start this recording. So. Despite the fact that uh, Atomos claims that they're passing through the HDMI timecode and trigger controls or flags, um, it doesn't appear to be making it to the mix pre for whatever reason. So the one thing I have not tried yet is an HDMI splitter. The problem with the HDMI splitters is most of them need to be powered. There may be some unpowered ones as well. I can't confirm whether that works or not because I don't have one yet. Uh, so uh, I guess the short version is we are able to get the HDMI timecode and triggering to work for one device at a time from the GH5, either the Atomos or the MixPre, but not both, by passing through the signal from this Atomos recorder to the MixPre. So one thing that someone could try, if, if someone hasn't, if someone's tried this already, please let us know in the comments below. Have you tried using an HDMI splitter so you get the same signal out of the camera, route one end of the splitter to the Atomos, one end to the uh, MixPre? Does that work? That's a question, an outstanding question that I don't know the answer to. Also, is there an HDMI splitter that is easily powered in the field? Because that's one of the big things I think people are trying to solve here. I think typically people are gonna have something like the Ninja 5 on here and a Mix Pre 3 or, or 6 and make that one rig, um, but you're gonna to have to power all of that somehow. And if you need an HDMI splitter to make the record to both of them work, then you're also going to have to have an additional power source potentially for that splitter. So that's where we're at right now. 
please, if you have experience with this, getting all of this to work together, please let us know. Um, and I will direct people here to this video. So your comment will be <laughs> useful for potentially a lot of people.